Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please excuse my appearance. I just got out of the shower and quickly wanted to do this apartment tour for y'all. Um, this is my first video back after pretty much a year and that's really bad. So I'm so sorry for the absence, but I'm trying to get back into YouTube. I've been so busy lately with school and work. So today I'm doing an apartment tour and I hope you guys like it. Let's get started. Here's the living room. I got my couch from Walmart. Actually, it's just a futon. It's not very comfortable, but I wanted a black couch and I really didn't have a whole lot of money. Like my budget was kind of small. So I went with Walmart and it was only like $150. So it works. It's not horribly uncomfortable, but it's fine. So I got this coffee table also from Walmart and it comes with a matching little side table, which is right here. And on the side table, I have this Target lamp. Oh, <laughs> there's baby, um, watch out. I have this little plant I got from Ross, it's fake. The clock is from Target. My coasters, I believe, are from Home Goods. And I got that little, this little thing that the coasters are sitting in from a thrift store, actually. And then I have this little basket underneath where I have like pillows that I'm not using. And I think I got the basket from Home Goods as well. I got the furry ones, the little faux fur ones from, I think, Target. That middle one is from At Home. And then the two on the side, which I love, are from H&M. And this is the chair that me and Kyle and my mom made. I guess it was about a year ago. It's still like my favorite thing ever. I love it so much. And I got this pillow from a thrift store actually, which it's in really great condition and it was like so pretty. So I had to get it, I think it was like $3. But yeah, this is my favorite chair ever. Curtains behind, I think I got them from Walmart. I'm not really sure. And then the curtain rod is actually from Walmart as well. So baby likes to hide out back here behind the window. So I have a bunch of pulls on my curtains at the bottom because he is obviously a cat. So we have that issue. I got this little basket from Target and I just throw like shoes and I think there's an umbrella. Yeah, there's an umbrella in there. And yeah, it's just an easy little place to like throw your shoes whenever you get inside or whatever. I have these little three hooks. I got them from, actually Kyle got them for me from Target, I think for Christmas last year. They're really pretty. They have like a marble detailing and then they're gold. And then I just hang my purses, my keys, and this little faux plant that I got from Target. It's really cute. It actually looks really real. I don't know if you can tell, but I didn't know where to hang it. I didn't want to hang it from the ceiling because Obviously I'm renting an apartment. I don't wanna put any holes in the ceiling. I think it goes okay right there. Okay, so going back to the coffee table, um, I have my Tom Ford book that I got off of, I think I got it from either Amazon or Books A Million. I know they both have it. And then I got this little basket right here from either Ross or TJ Maxx. Then I got this little uh, marble slab. I guess it's technically like a cutting board. On top I just have this little gold triangle pyramid thing from H&M. I got my teakwood candle from TJ Maxx, I believe, and it smells so good. If you have the mahogany teakwood candle from Bath & Body Works, it smells exactly like that. And this used to be a really cute little cactus, but Baby actually jumped up here and knocked it off the other day, and so all the dirt and rocks kinda got screwed up, and the cactus is like falling over, but I'm trying to revive it because I love it, it's so cute. But I got it from Home Depot for like a couple of bucks and it is real so you water it I think like once a month which is not, not bad at all. Then I got this little Chanel book. It's actually a set of three books. And um, I got this from a little boutique right down the road from where I live but I know, I've seen it on Amazon and a few other places but it is kind of expensive but I just love the way it goes in my Tom Ford book, and those are the two things that I just really wanted to go on my coffee table. Okay, so moving on to my rug. My rug is literally my favorite thing in the apartment. Like, I really splurged on it, but it was, I mean, I love it so much. I think it really just ties together the entire living room. And I had a black and white um, rug in here at first. There's just a lot of black and white going on, so I wanted to find a Persian style rug and this is exactly what I was looking for. I wanted like a faded red, but like I wanted like an authentic Persian rug. 
and of course if you know anything about Persian rugs you know how expensive they are they are crazy expensive but I actually got this one off of a website called handknotted.com and I got it for 60% off and what's cool about it is let me see if I can show y'all I think it's right here yeah and I have like a little mat underneath it has this little tag on it where it says oh it's kind of rubbed off but so it says like the size and everything and the age and where it was made. It's actually over a hundred years old and it was made in Iran, which you can't see that now because it's rubbed off. But I mean, how cool is that? It's such a good conversation piece. I, I don't know where this rug has been. It's been all over the world and I just really love that about it. And it's also beautiful, obviously. It ties everything together perfectly and I love it. Yeah, you can obviously tell. <laughs> okay, so I got this little faux fur rug from Ikea for like... I think it was like $14 or something. Super cheap, just kind of threw it under my stools. So I got these stools from Target. I think they were $70 each, which isn't horrible. Um, they're just like a fake leather. I wanted to incorporate some brown in here because I have the black couch, the white chair. I don't know, I just, I just felt like I needed some other color in here and I really liked the brown leather with everything else. Okay, so moving on to the bar area, I have this candle is from Walmart. I got it for like $3. And then I got this little uh, mirror from, I think, I want to say Home Goods. You'll notice in this apartment tour that I have mirrors everywhere. I just love mirrors. Oh yeah, speaking of, I forgot to tell y'all about this right here. I got these little frames right here from Walmart. And what I actually put in here, inside, in every single one, I got a, like a fashion magazine from... I think it was Books A Million. And I just kind of flipped through the pages and found some pictures that I liked that kind of went with each other. And I knew I wanted some black and white and then some colored. And it was the perfect book because I actually, I'm gonna show y'all later, but most of these actually came out of that book as well. So that was an easy DIY. The book cost like $20 and I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pictures out of it. So mirror from Target. I actually have another one in my bedroom. And I saw this mirror a long time ago and I just knew that I needed it in my apartment because it's gold and I tried to tie in a bunch of gold into my apartment. And I obviously just love this mirror. It was only $30 I think and it's really, really big and it's perfect for this space. And then here are some more of the little pictures that I put in here. Okay, so moving back to my bar. I got this lamp from Target. I love this lamp. It's probably my favorite lamp in this apartment. I just love it so much. It's got like this leaf detailing on it and the inside is actually gold too so the reflection is really nice. I got this little mirror from I think Forever 21 for like a dollar. I think it was on sale. And it was also from Walmart. It was on sale as well. And then I got this little fake plant from I think Home Goods. It's like a concrete and then gold on the bottom. I really love it. Hi, baby. Hey. Okay, so moving to this wall right here. I love this wall. Let's see if I can get all of it. Okay. So the little stool or a little table like in the corner, my dad actually made for our pool outside and I kind of just stole it and claimed it as my own because I just really liked it. I needed something right there to cover the outlet behind it, which you can kind of see there's a... um wire going to the outlet but I covered up most of the wires actually with this big poster right here that says all is pretty by Andy Warhol um I really love that poster I got it I got both my posters the Kate Moss poster and the all is pretty poster from Etsy I just ordered the, um, the downloadable version of those two pictures and I just got them printed off at Walgreens and then I got both of the um frames from Walmart I believe yeah so then I just have my TV stand, which is from Ikea. I think I paid like $12 for it. It was so cheap. And like I said, all of the pictures up here, I, except for the polka dotted one and then the Kate Moss and the All It's Pretty one, I pulled out of that magazine that I told y'all about. And then the frames are also from Walmart. So all of the frames up there are from Walmart. And then I have a little hat hanging up there. And I think it's from like a little boutique that I got like years ago. And this polka dotted one is from Target. Yeah, this is my gallery wall. I really love it. I got this little fake plant from, I think Target. It's cute. I have so many fake plants because I can't keep a plant alive. Like I just can't keep a plant alive. I've had some real ones and they've lasted about 
like two days <laughs> not really but you know what i'm saying <laughs> okay so i got this little eye rug from urban outfitters i love it i've actually had to tape it to the ground because it's really flimsy and baby likes to run on it and then it'll just get all wadded up and messy so i have it duct taped to the ground right now which is kind of weird but it works then i got this mirror which i love i knew i needed this mirror the second i saw it i got it from ikea it was kind of expensive, but it is a huge mirror. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a very big mirror. And I got this little cactus from Target. It's fake, obviously. So I got this little stool chair thing from Home Goods. I think it was like $30 or so, but I really just loved the look of it. It's super cool. It kind of looks like a bird cage or something, but I got this um, desk from Ikea. It was pretty cheap. I actually don't remember how much it was, but it's just a little single, desk has a drawer and i've got my laptop on it this lamp from target another picture from that magazine and then the walmart um frame i have this candle from walmart fake plant from target i think it's kind of dark you can't really see it and then i just have my folders a little notebook so the little cardboard piece that's underneath the desk is actually hiding baby's litter box and that might be kind of gross but it was really the only place I could put her litter, his litter box because my bathroom is really tiny. And so I wanted to hide it because obviously nobody wants to see that. So I just actually took a poster board, cut it to the length that it needed to be, and then taped it to that side, that left side over there. And it works, like it doesn't bother me, but it does the job. Okay, so I got this little, I don't even know what you call that, the little face wood thing i got that from ross i thought it was cool i think it was made in bali which is also pretty cool and i just thought it really tied in this whole little area then i have these hanging shelves that i got from target and i got these little fashion magazines from books a million as well i also got this little cat um bed for baby i think i got it from ross it's really cute he never actually gets in it which drives me crazy because look how cute it is. It's just kind of serving no purpose, but at least it goes with my decor, you know? <laughs> okay, so cabinet or pantry from, I think Walmart. And I have this little cutting board I got from Target. And then on top, I have this Target clock, which is also not right because none of my clocks work. And then I got this little fake plant from Target as well. So, yep. There is my little pantry area. Okay, so here's the kitchen. Um, over here I have this little, it's supposed to be like a fruit bowl holder, but I just have my Bible and my devotional sitting in there. There's my oven and look at this cute little teapot. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't used it, but how cool is it? It's marble. Maybe I'll use it, who knows. Anyway, so moving on, I have this little basket from, I wanna say, it's from Ross, maybe. Vitamins in here. Okay, so over here we just have the Keurig and then some little glass containers I actually got from, I think a thrift store and then kind of cleaned them out and just threw some random stuff in there. And I also got this um, gold little paper towel holder from Target. Pretty much everything in here is either from Tar Target or Ross. I got this rug from Target. I really love it. It's um, nice and heavy, so baby obviously likes it too. But yeah, I got that from Target for $24. This used to be in my room. It was a neck, well, it is a necklace hanger and the top of it broke and we never got around to fixing it. So it's just sitting here. I wanna put it right here where that little um, tassel macrame thing is uh, hanging, but we haven't fixed it yet. Here is my um, washer and dryer, which I really love having my washer and dryer in the unit. It's so nice. Then I have this little gold mirror told y'all I have a lot of mirrors. I got this from, I think, either Home Goods or Hobby Lobby. Actually, I think it was from Hobby Lobby for $8. I got this from TJ Maxx for, I think, $16. And it's hiding my um, little breaker box thing because it's obviously hideous, so I had to hide it with something. Okay, so going into my room, I have this little rug that I told y'all about. It used to be in my living room. I got it from, I think, Wayfair. It's really pretty, it's really cool, but um, I will say it sheds really, really bad. And that was another reason I couldn't have it in there because with the black couch, it would just, there were fuzzes everywhere and it would drive me absolutely insane. 
So I moved it in here and I think it does well in here. It's not as bad because mostly everything in here is white. So I got this one actually really inexpensive, I think off of eBay. I will list the um, seller down below because they have a ton of Persian rugs for really, really cheap. Then this mirror y'all have seen before if you follow me on Instagram. This mirror used to be in my bedroom at my old house and Kyle and I actually made this a couple years ago. Love it, it's so pretty. It will go with me everywhere I go. Okay, so moving on to the bed, fur throw, which is from Target. And then all of my pillows are from Target except for the little eye one. Um, I think I got that one from Home Goods. But yeah, I just have these green velvet pillows. And what's cool about these is they actually have this like gold detailing on them, which I think is really pretty. There you go, now you can see them. So I have the two green ones on the sides and then this yellow velvet one, which is really, really pretty. Okay, so moving on to this little corner. Um, I posted this on my Instagram the other day, uh, if y'all saw it. This chair is from, actually I think it was like an old chair that my mom found. And then I have these little hanging shelves from Ikea. I have these two little baskets on the sides that I have just my makeup in. I got those from Target. And then I have this little mirror from I think Target as well. My little fake plant from Walmart. And then a little candle from Walmart. And I got this circle mirror from Target as well. I really love it because it's wood and it's got this like cool metal detailing on the side. And yeah, I just have it kind of laying up against the wall. Brush holder, it's not really a brush holder, it's just kind of like a little bowl that I got from a thrift store. But I put little beads in there and I don't know if y'all can see. And so I just kind of stuffed my brushes in there. I really need to wash my brushes, y'all ignore that. Okay, so moving on to the dresser. This dresser is also from Ikea. I just put some sunglasses on there that I can just pick up and run with. Then I just have this picture of Kyle and I from our prom senior year. And then this little um, cross Kyle actually welded for me for Valentine's Day a couple years ago. I know, it's so cute. Then I just have some hairspray, dry shampoo, deodorant. I've got some melatonin gummies up there. Then I have this little box thing that I actually keep like some earrings and sunglasses in. Then I have this little ring plate, jewelry plate thing I got from Walmart on sale the other day. Earring holder came from a thrift store actually. This also came from a thrift store. I just have like some necklaces on it. And then a candle, just like a plain Walmart candle. And I got this lamp from Target. I think all of my lamps are from Target so far. And here is the other gold circle mirror that I got from Target. Then I have my hats that are just hanging right here. But I always like to hang my hats like this because it's decoration and you don't have to hang them in your closet. So here is my closet. I like don't even wanna show y'all my closet, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna show y'all. So this is a one bedroom, very small apartment. So the closet space is not great, but just beware, this is gonna be a mess. <laughs> so I'm so not organized at all, but I have so many clothes and I just have to stuff clothes in here. Like at this point, it's, it's getting a little ridiculous. So I have some jeans up there, some shoes up there. There are some shoes underneath that trash bag, um, which is full of clothes that I'm trying to get rid of right now. And then I just have these little uh, over the door hangers, which help a lot actually. I need to get one right here, but I haven't gotten around to it. So yeah, let's get away from that because that is horrid. Okay, so moving on to the bathroom. It is a really small bathroom and I got these little mats from, I think TJ Maxx, I think so. They just came in a set of two. Then we have our sink, our shower curtain from Walmart as well. And it's really cute, it has these little tassels on the end which you can't really see. But yeah, really cute, pretty simple. I haven't done a whole lot in here because it's just the bathroom, you know. I forgot to tell y'all, I got this little, baby's messed it up, I got this little um, rug from Ross, I think. Yeah, it's really cute, it used to be here. It used to be in my kitchen until I got this one. But yeah, guys, I think that's it. Um, pretty much have gone over everything I think. Thanks for watching guys and I will see y'all later. Bye.